Hey guys, it's Matt here and today we're doing Destiny Top 3 Ways to Get Exotics. Starting off at number 3, you need to select the scores of Winter Mission, Storyline or whatever you want to call it. Once you do this, you'll spawn in and go to the left and continue with the mission. Once you've actually completed this mission, you'll get into this boss room. What you want to do is use a rocket launcher and shoot yourself at the same time as the boss. But this does mean that the boss has to be at low health when this does happen. You need to use a three of coins so you have a chance of getting an exotic. And once you kill him, you will respawn in this section and you can keep on doing this until you get exotics. And you can stop whenever you want and then return to orbit and sometimes it will let you come back. You can also kill these Kells guards which will drop other items which you can trade them for glimmer. Number two, go to the dreadnought and patrol it. Once you've spawned in, you're going to have to head to the left. This is a lot better than number 3 as it is more efficient and it is a lot easier for everyone to go and do. Once you've spawned in, as you can see, you start in the hull breach. What you need to do is access through this ship or whatever you want to call it. You can run past all these ads unless you for some reason want to kill them for XP or engrams or a mission. So once you've actually got into here, they'll see a little gap to the left. You're going to enter this door and take turn right. So there's quite a lot of directions changing. You can go up these steps. Do not try and blink up because, yep, it doesn't work. Okay, so you can run up these steps. Once you go up the steps, there's another door. You're going to turn right here and then you'll go through here. This door will now open. You're now in the Dantelian Exus VI. Yeah, there we go. Um, keep on running this way and then you can kill these ads depending on your light level as you'll probably get shredded if you're extremely low. Now you can see this door, this door's actually locked. You have to get through it by jumping through this little corner. Definitely don't recommend using blink as it's a lot harder. So what you do, you jump up and then you'll land on this little edge. Once you're on this edge you crouch and then you can jump over and then you're free to go on the other side which is um, really cool as it's actually a secret area, so like a mini easter egg for everyone to go do. Once you continue going through, you'll find this knight. What you need to do is put a three of coins on so you have a chance of getting the exotic. The first time you actually kill this knight, you'll get a secret emblem as well, which is um, pretty cool to show off to your friends. So as you can t see, you can kill him and then once you do, you end up having a chance of getting exotic, you can return to orbit and do this again. Unfortunately, I didn't get one this time, but I have proof and I have left a link in the description of a video where I do actually get one. So at number one, we have the Siva Crisis Heroic. As you can see, you get legendary marks and a Treasures of the Dawning. Treasures of the Dawning give you an exotic thing for weapons and also you can trade the legendary marks in for exotics once you have 150 if you don't have it already and uh, you receive it in year two or year one so what you need to do is actually complete this mission and you have a chance of getting exotic if you use a three of coins on the end boss the reason this is number one is because you also get legendary mark and you'll also receive legendaries some of the time if you keep on farming it and then you can trade the legendaries and sometimes you'll get an exotic from it you also get the rewards, and the rewards consist of random items which are probably more useful. But anyway guys, if you did like this video, give it a thumbs up, and if you're not subscribed already, press it now. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!